Cyclone Gamane rapidly intensifying near Madagascar on today's Tropical Weather Bulletin. And now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Tropical Weather Bulletin for March 26. Cyclone Gamane rapidly intensified and has now reached Category 1 status after only becoming a tropical storm uh, yesterday. Code yellow for it right now and it is uh, very close to Madagascar, closer than we first expected, which might hinder its further intensification chances afterwards. It's 66 days until the Atlantic hurricane season and there's no areas of interest obviously. Uh, but you can see a little activity here and there. Two slight risk uh, areas in effect across the central United States today as well. 49 days until hurricane season in the eastern Pacific and it's looking extremely quiet, which is what we like to see. A few little thunderstorms blowing up in the intertropical convergence zone, uh, but very little to speak of in the eastern Pacific. Moving to the western Pacific and it's also quite remote there as well. There's a few thunderstorms though blowing up over parts of Thailand and the Indochina region extending into central Vietnam, but no areas of interest. North Indian Ocean also looking rather quiet, but a few thunderstorms blowing up, a little disturbance in the Arabian Sea in the deep tropics. No areas of interest now in the Australian region, but there are a few thunderstorms blowing up over parts of the top end of the Northern Territory and for the Cape York Peninsula. But apart from that, really not much else to speak of. So the activity, of course, is in the southwest Indian Ocean. The only storm that's active or area of interest right now, Cyclone Gamane. There it is off the coast of Madagascar. It's becoming quite a powerful storm. And we are running an automated live stream at all times during this storm's life. You can find it on the Force 13 channel. No areas of interest in the southern hemisphere, in the southern Pacific, I should say, at this point. Um, once again, not much going on here. A few little thunderstorms blowing up towards the international dateline. So let's take a closer look at Gamane then right now. There it is, just off the coast of Madagascar. There's a cyclone watch, or equivalent in effect, for Sava, Sofia and Analandiforo, uh, Girofo provinces. Uh, and it's 124 kilometers from Ambanifoni, 165 from Ansiranana, 287 from Antalaha, 554 from Tromelin, the island off the coast there, and 1109 from Mauritius. And just over 1,000 kilometers to Reunion as well. It will be heading in that direction later on in its life. Latest satellite imagery then, we know that they're still having big problems with the Mateosat 9 satellite on some uh, providers. Uh, but here it is on the Ram slider, uh, how the storm's been looking in the last uh, few hours. Looking pretty good as a matter of fact, really tightening up that rotation and obviously that eye feature can't be ignored. So large amounts of convection also blowing up mainly on the eastern side of the storm. They're swirling around and this is some imagery from InSat, the Indian satellite, uh, looking extremely good on that visible, on those visible frames there with that massive flow of convection obscuring the eye once again now, but things like that swirling around the edge of the storm there, a sure sign of intensification, possibly rapid. Well, there it is on the classic NOAA floaters, uh, because we're relegated to that kind of imagery right now. Just off the coast there of Madagascar, you get an idea of the uh, position of the storm right near the northern tip and really blowing up once again. Uh, the eastern side as well, a large band really blowing up there as well. Western side, not so much going on there actually, so rainfall might be a little bit limited uh, during the next few hours. But no doubt it's gonna be a large rainmaker for the coast of Madagascar, as we'll point out in the models in a little while. Uh, but certainly signs of further intensification and it's going to be impacted by the land interaction. The real question is just how much. And this is the uh, sea surface temperatures right now. The eastern Pacific blowing up uh, one or two really hot spots there actually, but uh, compounded by that really cool area towards the south there, the sign of this potential La Nina. The Atlantic, you can see the Caribbean really starting to warm up now. 
over 28 degrees along parts of the coast of Central America. And also in the western Pacific, those temperatures are warming up as well off the coast of the Philippines in a few spots getting close to 29 degrees now. North Indian Ocean also warming up, especially in those lower latitudes, really warm waters in the deep, deep tropics there, uh, but extending further north now through the Bay of Bengal and in the Arabian Sea, just about reaching Gujarat uh, at 26 degrees Celsius. Now, for this Storm Gamani right now, those temperatures are around 29 degrees Celsius. They'll drop only to 28 when it reaches the Mascarene Islands, and after that it really starts to drop off quite quickly. The Australian region very warm, but especially the Gulf of Carpentaria once again, over 30 degrees, pushing close to 32 actually, and in the Coral Sea also a large area there of 30 degrees Celsius waters. Not compared to the uh, South Pacific though, extremely warm waters over a large real estate there now of the South Pacific uh, from Samoa through the northern part of Fiji and towards the Solomon Islands, extremely warm, 30 degrees plus. You'll note that as well here on the um, sea surface temperature anomalies. The orange zones there are above average, blue zones are below average, and in general it is above average across the whole tropics. Western Pacific quite close to normal, Eastern Pacific quite a bit above, and in the Atlantic very much above normal there. Southwest Indian Ocean of course where this cyclone is, is running at about 1 to 2 degrees above average, and that extends down to Mauritius and beyond. Oceanic heat content is still very high over large parts of the South Pacific right now, extending into the Coral Sea too, uh, so still looking out for potentially a big system there. Uh, but in the Western Pacific, uh, extending uh, to warmer waters as well, more oceanic heat content there over large parts of the Philippine Sea, and in the Eastern Pacific starting to see some yellows there as well, so looking good over there. So checking out the computer models right now and you can see there it's a very fine margin with Gamane but even despite not making a landfall according to GFS it still weakens quite a bit before strengthening a little bit as it approaches Mauritius and then it's a landfall there as a borderline hurricane equivalent storm and then sweeping through towards the southeast. To be honest this is probably the most easterly tracking scenario that we've seen so far so that's an interesting development and whether that continues we'll have to see could even be possibly impacting Rodrigues there. As for rainfall expectations, near the centre of the storm right now, it we're producing extreme amounts of rainfall, and that will extend in some parts, probably from the banding, to large parts of the east coast of Madagascar, quite a bit further south than what you might expect. Uh, an area there, uh, further south in Analan Girofo province, uh, could be getting up towards 32 inches of rainfall there. That would be... Um, 800 millimeters and look near the center of the storm right now getting up towards 50 inches of rainfall also for parts of Mauritius there could be getting up towards 8 inches that's 400 uh, 200 millimeters of rain there uh, potentially in the next seven days still uncertain forecast about that one but all along the east coast of Madagascar certainly a flooding risk Longer range, we watch the storm continue to drift southeastwards. Off it goes, it's got a company there with quite a few other little extratropical systems and gets completely swept up around the 2nd or 3rd of April. So we were looking at the models yesterday, GFS gave it a prolonged second wind down there. Uh, not this time, it does die out quite quickly there. Straightforward movement towards the southeast beyond the Mascarene Islands and off it goes. And nothing else elsewhere in the next 10 days that we're looking at. Scan the barcode and that will take you through to the Force 13 merch store where you can take a look at all our items as well as our full season and individual storm animations on request. And are still waiting for our Hone t-shirts are still available as well. Um, they'll probably be decomposing by the time Hone forms. Well in the silly range there's one or two little artifacts that we're looking at but I really wouldn't put any faith into these because we've seen it all before. In the last week or two, we've seen scenarios like this, a storm brewing in the Western Pacific. Well, we've had that scenario play out about five or six times this year so far and nothing ever happened. Eventually it will, uh, but I don't think it's going to be this one. That's a tropical storm there, very low latitude, uh, heading towards Mindanao towards the second week of April. 
Similarly, the GFS crying wolf over the Northern Australian region as well. Will it happen? Well, it's certainly possible, but at this long range, uh, we really can't say anything about that yet. But there it is, developing a tight core, and that allows it to strengthen quite a lot as it stalls over Groot Island, and then moving inland over the top end of Australia, a borderline hurricane equivalent. Uh, but obviously, we're not taking it seriously yet, and that's why it's in the silly range. There we have it. Well, uh, on this day in 1996, we had a very uh, pretty looking storm there, Cyclone Betty, uh, which was just along the coast of uh, New Caledonia right now as a powerful Category 3, uh, around 120 mile per hour winds and a pressure estimate of 935 millibars. Uh, we're eventually moving southwestwards and then southeastwards, slaloming around the islands and off it would go towards the southeast eventually dying off um, somewhere near New Zealand I believe. That was Cyclone Betty, a strong category 3 on this day uh, 28 years ago. Back to this year then and just to, once again to remind you that we are running a live uh, stream, automated stream on Gamane right now, you can track the storm in real time. In the Atlantic, the first name this year is Alberto, the Eastern Pacific, Aleta, and in the Central Pacific, the next name is still Hone. In the Western Pacific, uh, Ewiniar is coming up next, and in the North Indian Ocean, our next name is Vimal. Waiting for a little while for that one as well now. Well, in the Southern Hemisphere, we've got Gamane. The next name now is Hidaya. In the Australian region, it's Olga. And in the South Pacific, it's Peter. We'll, of course, have regular updates on Gamane. And we'll be back with another tropical weather bulletin tomorrow.